So there are actually two kinds of Alzheimer's disease. There's the, there's the early onset kind, which has a very strong genetic component, but it's much rarer. It's about 5% of all Alzheimer's cases. It tends to happen to people around the age of 40, 45. Like the ages that you and I are getting to, Jala, uh, is around the start of where you see start seeing early onset Alzheimer's. The more common kind, the one we, we uh, associate with our grandmothers, for example, grandparents, I should say, that is the way more common kind, about 90 to 95% of Alzheimer's. And the, the genetic component for that is much smaller. And when I say much smaller, I mean there is a risk factor uh, for a particular protein called APOE, which we don't need to get into. But the, to summarize, essentially what I'm saying is that the what we think, all of us think of Alzheimer's disease, the notebook and everything you've seen on TV, that is the late onset kind. And that is a much smaller genetic component. So when, for example, my uh, my fiance's dad always talks about how he's worried he's going to get Alzheimer's because his mother had Alzheimer's. And I, I always tell him, look, your mother got it when she was 75, 80. So the risk factor for you, unless you have that one particular gene type, genotype, is pretty negligible. And even if you have that particular ne- uh, genotype, <clears throat> It is a risk factor. It doesn't determine you'll get it. So, uh, you know, I think that's something that I wish more people understand is that they don't need to be freaking out if people in their family have Alzheimer's, unless it's early onset Alzheimer's.